All right, everyone, we're back with some more collector showcase. Box number two, we've got Green Lantern Gallery. Green Lantern number two from 2005. Secret Files and Origins number two. Secret Files and Origins number one, which should really be right there. Green Lantern Annual number seven. Ghost Ion, Guardian of the Universe number five of 12. Green Lantern number eight. JL Ape storyline. Basically in this, uh, all the members of the Justice League are uh, turned into gorillas. Heart of Darkness, Green Lantern Sentinel, number two. Number three, Green Lantern versus Aliens. This is number one of four. It's a Dark Horse and DC Comics crossover. Green Lantern versus Aliens, number three of four. Green Lantern, the new core, number book one of two. Uh, basically in this, guy, uh, Kyle Rayner, who is... The, the galaxy's only Green Lantern at this point. Decides to travel across the galaxy to find others he feels is wor are worthy to be Green Lanterns. So that, uh, to try and rebuild the core after Emerald Twilight. Uh, it doesn't quite go over so well. Green Lantern Corps Quarterly. The Harley Quinn unleashes the fury of Alan Scott. Originally... Harley Quinn was a completely different character who was an enemy of Alan Scott. For those of you who don't know, Alan Scott was the Golden Age Green Lantern. He was the original Green Lantern. And he eventually became known as Sentinel. Blackest Night Wonder Woman, number two of three. Number three of three. Blackest Night Adventure Comics, number seven. Blackest Night Black Lantern Green Arrow, number 30. Blackest Night Batman, number three of three. So Blackest Night Batman, number three of three. Blackest Night Superman, first issue. Blackest Night Titans, three of three. For those of you who aren't familiar with the Blackest Night storyline, it was a uh, cross-title crossover for uh, DC Comics shortly before the Flashpoint and before New 52. The Black Hand, who became the original Black Lantern, um, starts sending out rings from... Batman's skull, because at this point, Batman was believed to be dead, but he, it turned out he was just a clone. And those Black Lantern rings bring people back to life, uh, like zombies, and they feed off of emotion. Blackest Night, The Flash, Blue Lantern Flash. This is uh, part of the return of Barry Allen. I believe he died in Crisis on Infinite Earths uh, in the 80s, and he was later he later... Uh, Wally West took over for him. So throughout the 90s, the majority of the issues of Flash you might see, it's not Barry Allen, it's Wally West. Uh, Prelude to the Blackest Night. Green Lantern versus Agent Orange. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45... I have to say the Blackest Night and the Brightest Day uh, crossovers did have probably some of the best covers in Green Lantern comic history. There's 46. 47. This was the return of Abin Sur um, as a Black Lantern. Abin Sur was the alien Green Lantern who crashed on Earth, uh, who left his ring to Hal Jordan. Uh, it was later revealed that Abin Sur founded... The Indigo Lanterns. Blackest Night, Green Lantern number 48. The Blue Lantern Corps. 49. 50. That's that's one cool cover, I have to say. Alternate cover. There's 51. 52, where Sinestro becomes White Lantern. Blackest Night, Green Lantern Corps, number 44. 46. Blackest Night, number 2 of 8. 7 of 8. 8 of 8. Uh, Brightest Day, Justice League, Generation Lost. First issue. Flash, number 2, Brightest Day. Green Lantern, Emerald Warriors. Green Lantern. This was the, uh, the New Guardians storyline, where the leaders of each of the different Lantern Corps uh, come together. Um, to try and find the White Lantern. 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 
58. Green Lantern Core 47, 48, 49, 50. Uh, the Cyborg Superman returns and he leads the Manhunters. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, uh, Brightest Day Justice Society of America, number 41, Justice League of America, 44, 47, Brightest Day, number 0. In Brightest Day, this is when uh, the White Lantern selects uh, a group of heroes and villains to return from the dead. Um, and he has a specific purpose for each of them. So, and that's basically what the uh, White Lan or the Brightest Day storyline is. There's one, two, three, four. The return of Deathstorm, which was the Black Lantern version of Firestorm, who became a very iconic villain in his own right. Number five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Batman becomes White Lantern brief, very briefly. Uh, Dead Man, uh, Boston Brand, he tries to shoot, he tries to select Batman to be, carry the White Lantern, uh, but Batman wasn't chosen, so Batman only becomes White Lantern like for like a second. But. Number 15, 16, uh, 17, 18, 19, 20. Aquaman loses his hand again. <laughs> 21, 22. It's Firestorm versus the Anti Monitor. Uh, for those of you who don't know, the Anti Monitor. Um, was a, uh, the main villain in, I believe, Crisis on Infinite Earths. Uh, I'll have to double check, but I believe so. 23, the four elements. You got Firestorm as the fire element. Martian Manhunter, Martian Manhunter as the earth element. Aquaman as the water element. And Hawkman and Hawkgirl as the air element. Number 24, the end of Brightest Day, where Swamp Thing becomes the new White Lantern. Convergence. Number 5 of 8. Number 6 of 8. 8 of 8. Uh, and then... Superman, Man of Steel, Convergence crossover. Uh, Convergence was basically another crisis um, for the New 52 version of DC Comics as a way to merge um, what people liked about pre-New 52 DC Comics with what people liked of post-New 52 Comics. Um, it didn't really work out as they had hoped, but it is still pretty good. Uh, Villains United, Infinite Crisis crossover. Day of Vengeance, Infinite Crisis crossover. Firestorm. Number 21. 22. Uh, Countdown to Infinite Crisis. This is the death of of Blue Beetle, uh, the second Blue Beetle, uh, Ted Cord, Infinite Crisis number two, number seven, Identity Crisis number one, uh, Countdown to Final Crisis. Uh, actually, in the Countdown to Final Crisis, 
Um, the way it's numbered, it it counts down. It doesn't like 49. That would be one of the first ones you would read. So kind of got these out of order. They're backwards. But I got 1, 15, 21, 22, 25, 28, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 42, 43, 45, 46, 48, 49, uh, countdown Arena, number two of four. Um, 52 weeks later, um, it was the original 52 uh, for DC Comics. It was one year after, uh, or it was, it takes place right after, I believe, uh, Infinite Crisis. Um, and this was the 52 weeks in between uh, Infinite Crisis and one year later. Um, so after Infinite Crisis, they started uh, a year later with the one year later comics. And then they went back and did 52. So we've got week one. And this is 52 weeks without Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman because the three of them decide to semi-retire um, because it took uh, Infinite Crisis took a lot out of them. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, twenty one. 22, 23, 24. This is where Firestorm tries to create a new Justice League of America. You've got Firehawk. Uh, you got, um, I believe she was one of the Metal Men, but I'm not sure. And then he eventually becomes one of the Supermen of America at the end of Superman Grounded storyline. Uh, 25, 26, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 35, 36, 39, 40, 42, 43, 44, 46, 47, 48, I believe this is where Rene Montoya becomes the new question. Um, the original question died from cancer, and he uh, left over uh, his spray mask and um, all his questions and everything to former detective Re Rene Montoya. Um, to take over as a new question. We've got 49, 51, and 52. I believe this is the death of an uh, elongated man. Um, you can see there's the questions hat. I forget whose ring that is. And then we've got, from the pages of 52, World War III. This is where Black Adam, he goes mad because his wife is killed. And uh, he takes on the entire Justice Society of America and Justice League of America, minus Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman, by himself. And it leads into World War III. Basically, everyone on Earth has to fight one man. Then... 52 Aftermath, The Four Horsemen. Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman return. And they have to face the Four Horsemen of the Planet Apocalypse. 
One, two, three, four, and six. I'm missing issue number five. A DC special, Return of Donna Troy. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Donna Troy was the... I think she was kind of a clone of Wonder Woman, um, but a younger clone. Uh, she was still created by... Uh, out of sand by Zeus and uh, Hippolyta. But when Wonder Woman grew up, Hippolyta missed having a daughter, uh, a young daughter, so she created Donna Troy. DC Universe Zero. The ending begins here. Decisions. Legacies. This is basically from the point of view of um, just a regular citizen, I believe. And he recounts how Green Lantern went insane. There were four Supermen after the real Superman died. And Batman seemed to become darker and more violent all at the same time. And then in Final Night, a Sun Eater comes to Earth and uh, begins devouring the sun. Um, and it causes... Uh, eternal winter right before Earth is supposed to die. And it leads into Hal Jordan, uh, the Green Lantern, former Green Lantern, now Parallax, um, the villain Parallax. He, he redeems himself by using up his power to reignite the sun and saving the Earth. And that leads into Day of Judgment storyline, where eventually... How Jordan becomes the new Spectre, which is the hand of God. Uh, we've got World Without Flash, uh, number 100. Green Arrow, number 100. This says the Centennial Issues. Justice League America, number 100. The Return of Guy Gardner. Uh, in this issue, Guy Gardner... He is no longer a Green Lantern. He's no, he no longer wears a yellow lantern ring like he did in the Death of Superman storyline. Instead, he, it's found out that he's part... Um, he had an ancestor, I believe, that was part of an ancient alien race. And that alien DNA begins to um, uh, come out of him to where he can form, uh, form his body into any weapon. He can think of, and uh, he's known as Warrior. Then we've got Zero Hour. Number three. Uh, Zero Hour Superman. Shadow of the Bat. Uh, Guy Gardner Warrior. Uh, Green Lantern versus Green Lantern. Robin. Flash. Green Lantern, Guy Gardner Warrior, Green Arrow. This is where I believe Connor Hawk becomes the Green Arrow. Um, for those of you who aren't familiar with Connor Hawk, um, Connor Hawk is the illegitimate son of Oliver Queen. Uh, Oliver Queen died, I believe, and Connor Hawk eventually became the new Green Arrow. Uh, zero Hour. Legends of the Dark Knight, Shadow of the Bat, Batman, Wonder Woman, Superman Man of Steel, Superman, Adventures of Superman, Superman in Action Comics. This is where Superman fights um, Conduit. Conduit was once a friend of Superman's, or of Clark Kent's, uh, he discovered that Superman was Clark Kent, and Superman refused to uh, get him a cure for something or other, and because it would have done more harm than good. So Conduit uh, created, developed this uh, suit with uh, kryptonite tentacles to be able to kill Superman. Year One Flash. This comes after Zero Hour, I believe. 
I could be wrong, but year one Green Lantern. This um, this is weird because it has in the issue uh, the origins of the Hal Jordan and Kyle Rayner are mixed up. So you have Hal Jordan in the Kyle Rayner costume. You can tell it's Hal Jordan by the gray in the side of his hair. And Kyle Rayner's in Hal Jordan's costume. Year one, Guy Gardner Warrior. Year one, Green Arrow. Year one, Batman. Justice League America. Annual, uh, this is an Elseworlds title. Uh, Batman Legends of the Dark Knight Citizen Wayne. Another Elseworlds title, Annual 1996 Green Lantern. Uh, basically, with Elseworlds titles, they were the what if of DC Comics. Um, you know, Marvel Comics had their what if uh, titles, where what if, um, what if Spider Man had killed the burglar? What if uh, Hulk uh, could wield the hammer of Thor? You know, this was similar to that. It takes place centuries into the future. It's part of the Legends of Dead Earth storyline. Um, in different titles, in this one, the Superman uh, from the main Earth, uh, he's still around, but he's a computer program uh, that can't die. And he imbues ordinary humans with one of his powers. It's so like you have one guy who's super strong, one guy who can fly, one guy who's super fast, one guy who has heat vision, and so on. And super, the real Superman actually becomes the, the villain because they know he can't kill himself or delete himself. He knows that in order for him to finally rest in peace, he has to be deleted. His program has to be deleted. And no one will actually do that unless he uh, turns on them. So that's what that storyline is about. Robin, Legends of Dead Earth. This is kind of along the lines of Logan's Run. Where it's in a distant future where when people reach a certain age, they, uh, they're, they're sent to die pretty much. Uh, but Robin and Batman. Batman is the oldest living human. And Robin is starting to uh, follow in his footsteps. They rise up against the uh, against the establishment pretty much. Just like in Logan's Run. Uh, tangent comic Superman's Reign. Then we've got Green Lantern, Green Arrow, number 101. Green Lantern, Green Arrow, number 114. Number 77 from... This is a different volume, so the uh, numbering is a little wacky. But this is Kyle Rayner as Green Lantern instead of Hal Jordan. And Connor Hawk as Green Arrow instead of Oliver Queen. Number 92. Number 136. And this is Hal Jordan Green Lantern with Connor Hawk Green Arrow. Then you've got Green Lantern plus the Ray. Uh, two of my favorite uh, superheroes. And they got to fight Dr. Polaris. Green Lantern Plastic Man one shot. Green Lantern AD Page Giant issue number one from December of 98. You can see it's got Hal Jordan stories, Kyle Rayner story, uh, Sentinel Alan Scott story, John Stewart, and War Guy Gardner Warrior. Uh, Green Lantern AD Page Giant uh, team ups from A to Z. Number two, uh, Green Lantern Flash, Faster Friends, Free Comic Book Day, number one, Superman, Batman, 
Superman Batman number eight. This is the first appearance of the actual Supergirl, Kara zor -El, in the modern DC Comics, pre-New 52. Um, there were many Supergirls before her in the modern age, but this is the real Kara zor -El. Number 19, 23, 24. In this issue, uh, Batman and Superman go to an alternate Earth where genders are swapped. So you got Batwoman, Superwoman, and one uh, Superboy, or Super Lad, I guess his name is. 35, uh, Superman Shazam First Thunder, number one. First Thunder, number two. The Trinity, number one. Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman. Uh, number 21, 27, 37. Batman, Green Lantern, Brave and the Bold, number one. And number 12. So that's it for the second box. Uh, we're going to take a break, and we're going to come back and start with the third box.